Welcome back. Now the next menu over is the view menu. And the view menu will give you access to tools that will allow you to organize your information in the folder that you are working in. And there are four windows. There is the pane window, layout window, current view window, and show and hide menu. Now the navigation pane will allow you to either have or not have this panel on your left hand side. So for example, what we can do is we can then take this down arrow and we can untick the navigation pane. And what you'll notice then is that it will no longer be there and all you'll see there will be your files. We can then take this navigation pane and we can tick it again and then we'll have the navigation pane available. You have some other options here. You can expand to open all the folders in your navigation pane. You can show all the folders and show all the libraries. And all you have to do is to tick these so that you'll be able to see how they're going to look. You can also create two other panes. But you also have a preview pane. And if you have a particular file, you can highlight the file, you can open the preview pane, and then you'll be able to see a preview of that file on the right hand side. You can also open a details pane. When the details pane opens, the preview pane closes and then you get all of the details about this particular file. And you can choose to have this pane closed. And what you can also do if you go to the show and hide panel, you can then make sure that the file name extensions are going to be visible. And you'll see that here. You'll notice that you see the word zip after the file. We can then take this button and we can make it then so that the extension will not appear after the file or the folder. We can tick it back and then we'll be able to see the extension. We can give our folder checkboxes. So if we tick this box, what we can do, we can give each file a box where we can manipulate the file within a folder. And when you're inside of a system folder, you're going to notice there are going to be some folders that are going to be slightly faded in color. And that means that they're typically hidden. So for example, if we were to untick this hidden items area, what you're going to notice is that the only files you're going to see are those that are going to be typically used. We can then make sure that we can see all of the file folders by clicking this hidden items button. And many times this will help us to troubleshoot an issue when we have one. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.